everyone and happy Halloween. Have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween weekend. It's Friday night, 6.15, and I have had a very long week. And you know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to drink a glass of wine or maybe two and watch the Halloween Simpsons. I had a great trade today in P, Pandora Media Incorporated. We listened to Pandora music the entire time we were in the trade today, and I actually believe that it gave us good luck. The train went on to work and go to actually the second, one, two, three. It went to the third target. I wanted it to go to one other number, which was $11. It did not get there for the day trade today, but it will go there. However, I gave it every chance in the world to do it. This was the longest trade with the most size that I think I've ever been in in my life. If the train today had gone to the target of $11, I would have made over $10,000 in the day. That's five figures in a trade, in a, in a day trade. <laughs> so I actually had a great day, but I will tell you that I did give some money back waiting for it to go to the bigger number, which it didn't reach. I ended up giving back approximately like $1,500 to make it five, which, which it didn't go to the 11 today. But it was worth it because it could have made three times the amount if I so I gave back 1500 profit in the trade but I could have made five profit if that had dropped again but then I saw that it wasn't and then I then I took it so let's just go over it there's a the daily chart the daily chart of P from the gap I played a week ago there was an amazing gap a gap that opened and swooshed a gap that's breaking a swing trade that I did and by the way everyone that signed up for the swing trade letter is you know it, it's it's going it's it's Monday morning, this could be at 11, actually. Now, let me just get rid of this, and I'll show you the... I've been in, I was in this trade... This is... I literally was in this trade today from 9.30 to 3.30. 9.30 to 10.30. 10.30, 11.30. 11.30, 12.30. 12.30, 12.30, 1.30, 1.30, 2.30, 2.30 to 3.30. I was in this trade today for six hours. That's a, I had 10,000 shares of it and was in for six hours. It's the longest I've ever been in a trade with that much size. And I think it's the longest I've ever been in a trade, actually. Very aggressive today, but it rallied, and I set up, and I took it at 12.08, 12.09, whatever you got hit in here, boom. And it dropped. And I did the right thing in this because I got out of half, and then it rallied back, and then I added more, and then it dropped a little, and I took some out, and then it rallied back, and then I got in more. So I had, I was green, $2,600, $2,700, $2,800, whatever, like, for a long time in the trade, very early on in the day and kept lowering the stop. So if you are in an afternoon trade, that's the best thing to do. And I had it at the right place every time. So first we lowered it in here, I think to 96. Then it dropped again and then we lowered it to 76. Then it dropped again and then we lowered it to 65. Then it dropped again and we lowered it to 60. Then it dropped again and then we lowered it to 56 or 57. And, and here was the low of the day. The low of the day was 38. I had the target at 40 and then 35. Basically, this was one of the targets or two of the targets. 305. See, here's, here's what I thought. I thought it would go to 11. And I also thought it was not going to break the low of the day by 12 cents and then halt. But that is what it did. You see this here? So here's the low of the day, which was 11.50, which it struggled with all day. And I had 100% conviction it would break it. But then, but then it only did by 12 cents. But they still had a great move today. I made a lot of money. I was very happy. I'm, I'm very, very happy. So at one point, I was up 5,600 or something like that. But the possibility of making over $10,000 in a trade. And I knew I wouldn't lose in it because I had so much booked. And I, and I had to stop underneath the initial price. I, 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 didn't, I wouldn't say I gambled on this, but I had the conviction it would break. But you know what happens? The day gets on. And the day gets late and the day gets late and then I didn't want it to go over here and then I had to take it. So I had a really good day, a solid day in the P. I made more money in this stock, shorting this stock in the last week than I any stock that I traded this entire month. It's very rare that I would trade something more than once. I traded this, I don't know how many times in the last week to the downside and it's worked every time I've shorted it. And I really, really, really am in love with Pandora. I listen to it on my phone. I've loved shorting the stock. I've made more money in this in the last month than anything I've done. I've probably made more money in this stock alone than anything I've ever made money in. And today I could have made over $10,000 in this trade. And it's the longest trade I've ever held. And I kept the room open. That's the first time I've ever kept the room open that long. In all the years I've had the trading room, I've never kept the room open until 3.30 in the afternoon. And I did today. 15 people stayed with me. And four people took the afternoon trade and held it on through. Actually, no, five. Five did. 
and we all made money in it and it was a great day and we all made money in the morning trade but then the rest of the room people signed out I usually am done in the morning but I, I, I had time today I had time today and it was one of these weeks where I felt like you know what I wanted more money and I got it I got it it was worth staying through it but like I said it, it did not go to 11 it's on its way there as a swing trade if you're in it but it was worth holding it and the day is coming where I'll have a ten, twelve thousand dollar or whatever day. I'm, it's it's the day is coming, and it was it was a fantastic day. And I traded this so well, I actually could not have traded this any better unless I got out of the low. And it's nearly impossible to get out of the low unless you either take it out at a target, or time it with the day or the market, or it goes to an exact number. And I felt eleven was reasonable, but here was the problem: it was Friday afternoon, it was three oh five, and 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 that was the reason really. And also, this did have a good move, but you know, I'm just going back here. I'm just let me just look at something here. I can always learn from something, but once it broke, it probably when it had this hard bar, what it here no. This said should this should not have done this 55% retracement after the break. I'm seeing this now. So after the break of the low, which was 50, and then it fell in hard. This shouldn't have gone. This here's probably where I should have hit out of it. That it wasn't going to go farther. Or like here. Between 43 and 46, I should have taken it all out, knowing that it wasn't going to break again. Very, very, very tedious. Very specific, very tedious. I, I played it extremely well. And and very exciting to be in a trade that long and get paid a lot of money and actually have the possibility of making $10,000 in a trade. So that day is coming. I'm excited that it's coming. It's, it's coming for the end of the year. Prediction, I will make over $10,000 in some trade between now and the end of the calendar year. And we had a great fun day in the room and I, I talked and I had put the mic off and then I had the music on it was a nice day and it wasn't even stressful because of the fact I was up so much money that I couldn't lose I had booked a amount of money that was good and then I was in the trade and learning the stop was good and that was the right rate of trade so I traded with low risk today made money quickly followed it through and and could have had just a huge huge day to end the month and the week either way it was a very solid month and it was a bullish week in the market. Top to short this week unless you pick the exact right thing to do every day. And and, and yet I, I pulled it out. So this is Melissa with the Golden Gap course. If you're interested, email me at melissathestockswish.com. The class, the next class is November 7th and 8th. I love trading. Today the conviction really helped me make more money in the P and it could have gone even farther. You will have great moves into the open and you also have often great moves into the close. This could have sold off more into the close. But I'm saying here that 40, between 43 and 46 is probably was the bounce back. But this is lower. This is probably even lower on Monday. Do I dare? Do I dare to short this one more day? Five days into the gap and I'm still shorting the stock. Amazing, amazing weakness and a beautiful, beautiful trade. Have a great night, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissathestockswish.com. It's going to be a great month in November. It's going to be the best month that maybe I've ever had in my life. I really love training. I love shorting. I've called the market extremely well. My conviction level is very, very high. I am focused as anybody's business, and I am excited to trade during the month of November. It's going to be a great holiday weekend. Have a fun Halloween, everyone, and enjoy yourselves, and please be safe, and have a great night.